Thanks for joining us on this edition of the Council Recap. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, first items of business were public hearings. Uh, three tax abatement projects were proposed, uh, all in the Nature's Ridge subdivision. First one was for Bigelow Linen Construction, estimated value of $253,000. Um, that's a spec home, so again, another good indication of a strong uh, market that a developer would be uh, willing to go ahead and construct that without having a, a buyer on, ready to go. Um, next one was Sean Smelmecki, uh, Midwest Cabinetry and Millwork, had two projects, one at 1318th Drive Northeast and the other one at 1311 18th Drive Northeast. Um, first one that he was doing is an estimated value of 269000 and the second one 312000 So good to see those. Those were in conformance with our adopted policy. Uh, didn't have anybody there to speak for or against the projects for the public hearings. Council did approve those projects. Uh, moving on, we approved a, um, several other public hearings uh, for street projects, uh, five of those were approved uh, th through the evening um, by council. They adopted a resolution declaring the costs and adopting the assessment role for those projects. One of the projects was for 6th Street Northeast. That project was continued to April 1st, 2019 for the public hearing um, to delay the project a little bit, but still allow for the potential of that moving forward uh, later this year. Um, Next on the agenda was approving a plat for the Northwest Park subdivision. Um, that property was purchased um, by a party interested in putting up a senior living facility. Um, we still anticipate that to come forward at some point, but we sold off the north four acres of that um, park for uh, reuse um, for a senior living facility and had to dedicate the plat for that and make sure those parcels are appropriately subdivided. Um, that was approved by council. Uh, the next was reviewing a parking appeal for Nate Stencil on a project um, north of uh, Runnings back in there by CSI. Um, asked for a variance to our parking uh, requirements. They were short 50 stalls or, or were proposing to build a parking lot 40 spaces um, less than what would be required by ordinance. Um, our ordinance is probably a little bit more restrictive than a lot of the folks in our surrounding communities, we wanted to be equitable with that. Council agreed with that um, goal and approved that um, parking variance to back off in the number of stalls. Um, last item business was uh, annual setting the date for the annual stormwater meeting of April 27th at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, we also set the uh, recycling electronics event for May 11th, 2019. We hold that at Mauer County Fairgrounds. Uh, we got a real good turnout. We've been doing that since 2011. Um, great cooperative effort with the county. Uh, we used to take nine to 11 semi loads of electronics out of there. We're doing about five to six still um, in the later years here that we've done. Again, that'll be Saturday, May 11th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, so council accepted that. We also accepted a hazardous materials preparedness grant through the fire department of $3,100. That'll be for training for hazardous materials and confined space for our fire department. So that concluded the business for uh, the council meeting. If you've got some questions on these items or any other items, don't hesitate to give me a call, 437-9941. would love to hear from you. Otherwise, have a great day and think spring.